can concur that I'm just as uncomfortable on the stage, not because I have stage fright, but uh, I think I speak enough on every other day. So I normally prefer to stay behind the scenes and do other things. Um, I'm Clifford, and I am tasked to speak about commitment. Now, I am married to Ilza, and on the 11th of December, from the very beginning, um, the thing that I loved about my relationship with Ilza was that there was really never ups and downs. Yes, we have disagreements, but it's never to the fact where we give back rings and pack bags and things like that. Uh, and we also agree that we are committed to one another and we will make this thing work. The prayer team, there's only one thing that I want you to keep praying for us at this stage when it comes to commitment. When we made this agreement, Ilsa said to me, she can forgive me everything. So I, I, I want you to pray that God reveals to her that, I mean, she must have grace. I'm the fifth speaker, so I mean grace, guys. Uh, but in any case... Um, what is commitment? I went to the dictionary, uh, and I'm going to read this for you. Uh, commitment is a state of quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity. Or another definition said, commitment is an engagement or an obligation that restricts freedom of action. And as I was meditating in preparation uh, for, for, for this talk this morning, um, the first thing that, that I felt God was saying to me is, when I need to speak to you guys, I need to look at the church's vision. And um, if you look at the vision, I want to challenge you again today I will perhaps ask the media team to post it again uh, on the group to ask yourself, you can do, do introspection and ask yourself, are you living out this mission of the church? Because only then you are committed to what we are doing here. And maybe I also need to take the time to celebrate everybody that is committed to the vision, everybody that, that's serving, everybody that's giving, Everybody that's here on a Sunday to make sure things work. And as we were scurrying around this morning, I was thinking of this. There are people that's here for the first time. We're starting late. And all these other things. But then God said to me, but this is the exact thing that you will be speaking about. Yes, we might not be a perfect church yet. Yes, maybe there are a few things that we need to get in place. But those of us that are here, we need to be committed to make sure that the things that, that irritates us, because late coming irritates me, so that these things can fall into place so that we can move forward. And then maybe um, uh, I, will, I want to share two scriptures and then I want to share a story in closing. Uh, I am number five, so if I'm over time, please have grace. Uh, the, first thing, the first scripture that I want to share is Luke 9, verse 62. It says, Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. And then Numbers 30, verse 2 says, If a man vows a vow to the Lord or swears an oath to bind himself in a pledge, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. And as I was thinking of commitment, I was thinking of a mother that, that's struggling to fall pregnant. And I'm, in my mind, I could see uh, petitioning to God and saying to God, God, if, this, if you uh, take this barrenness away from me, I will dedicate this child to you. Maybe that was the first time that many of us were committed to the Lord. 
And then after you were born, your mother came onto the stage with the rest of the family and everybody with your godparents vowed that they will also commit your life to God. And then um, at 16, maybe you got a promise ring. That was also another form of commitment. And then when you got married, um, there's also another form of commitment. But um, the story that I want to share in closing is there was a guy by the name of David Livingston. Now in the day, um, and at some stage, the missionary body from England or Scotland messaged him and they asked him, uh, have you found a decent road in Africa? Because we have quite a few volunteers lined up here that wants to join you in your work in Africa. And when I read the story, his reply really stuck with me. He replies, he replied to them and he said to them, if the people that you want to send to me is waiting for a decent road, please let them stay there. Because in Africa, we, there is no perfect roads. I need people that are willing to work even if there is no road. So that is my challenge to you this morning, to remain committed to, to your commitment to God, first of all, and being committed to the house where you serve. Amen? I hope you were blessed. Thank you.